we've inserted a few markers. Now let's go back to Ultimate S and do step two. Process four camera edits at markers. Well, in our case, it's only three. The master track name, master video is fine. If you have a different idea, type it here. Include audio. We don't need to include the audio in this case. We'll mix the audio later. We're only cutting picture. We didn't add time code, so we don't need to remove it. Here, match master track to project aspect. This you would use if you were dropping in, for example, PowerPoint slides or images with different aspect ratios, and you wanted to make sure that everything displayed appropriately. We don't have any of those here. We're good to go. And there you see. And this one's got a story that goes with it. I was riding down the highway. I was heading south. It was on the old U.S. Highway 1. Maybe some of you know. I've been in South Carolina. I've been down in Georgia. And the rain was pouring down. We've easily created cuts and dissolves from one clip to another. The originals are not cut. Ultimate S has made a copy of each of the clips and placed it on a master video track. Ultimate S creates what's called a tally track, which tallies up the position of each of the clips. At this point, we have two choices. We can continue to work with Ultimate S, or we can use this as a start and go off on our own. You can see the clips are here. Here's a cut. If we don't like where that cut is, we can manually change where that cut happens. Or we can move this marker to the point where we want the cut to be, and then go back to Ultimate S, and have Ultimate S update the tally for us. That's what we're going to do. I'm not exactly thrilled with where this cut happens. The cymbal and the piano are a little bit off. They're still trying to find their groove. I want the cut to be somewhere in the middle there. Let's take a look at it again. On the piano hit, perhaps. A little bit later. So let's move this. And see if it works that way. We're going to go back to Ultimate S. We're going to update the tally track. I can find that's a little better. I can fine tune it if I want to. You can see that Ultimate S Quad Cam is going to save you an enormous amount of time. I suspect if you're like me, you're going to use it as a basic tool to get your cuts up in a hurry and then go in and fine tune each individual cut and transition until you're happy with it. Multicam editing with Ultimate S in Vegas. The old US Highway 1, maybe some of you know. I've been in South Carolina. I've been down in Georgia. And the rain was pouring down.